everybody. Welcome back to Biking MTG. Um, here for box number three of uh, M19 week. I uh, hope everybody's having a great week. Um, hope everybody had a good time with their pre-release. Uh, so everybody's getting ready for release and uh, the new league season and everything that comes with it. Um, Magic-wise, I uh, hope overall your life is just going well. I hope your week's going well. I hope everything's good. Hope you're enjoying the new content I'm putting out. I'm trying to uh, trying to do new things, trying to uh, enhance my quality and my creativity. Um, really trying to be creative with this and, and really set myself apart from you know the rest of the pack cracking community as much as I can. Um, love guys like Rudy and uh, Rudy is so much of a pack cracker anymore, but. Um, you know, Open Boosters is awesome. Love Bevers, love all those guys. But um, even Bad Boy MTG is all right. But as far as you know, total, you know, totally trying to set yourself apart. That's what I want to do. I want to be unique. Um, I just want my content to be unique, and I want to have some real unique cre creativity in it. Um, I think there's a lot. Um, there's a lot that can be harvested of magic. I mean, a lot that, that you can concentrate on that others don't. Uh, Millstone, Dry Green Seeker, Surge Mare, Demanding Dragon, Mountain and a Goblin Token. And I haven't had a fast start in a single one of these boxes. Um, not one have I had a fast start. Every box that I've had, I've opened at least six or eight packs before I hit a Mythic or a decent foil or anything. Um, they've just been really slow to start. So I guess if you're pulling packs, single packs from your LGS, pull them from the bottom of the box. Psychic Corrosion, Rogue's Gloves, Vampire Sovereign, and Escape Shift. There we go. We had an early Mythic. Swamp and an Angel Token. What is that scape shift sitting at right now? Let's take a look. Now this is our pre-release. Uh, it's just a uh, well, nice 16 bucks. Not a bad hit. Not a bad hit at all. At least that's what miniature market's selling it for. Um, TCG player. Oh, that's Morning Tide. That's <laughs> $45. <laughs> Holy cow, no. Um, 15 bucks. Yeah, 15 Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. I pulled one in the last box as well. A lot of people are licking their lips to make a deck out of that. Um, it should be interesting to see how it plays out. Hold on. Lost my, uh, make sure I've still got video here. There we go. Yeah, escape shift's good. It's two and two uh, green. Sacrifice any number of lands. Search your library for up to that many land cards. Put them onto your battlefield. Tap then shuffle your library. It's a good card. Dragon egg, dragon green seeker, switcheroo, and a mentor of the meek. I fit this in every in all the boxes so far, and that was my foil rare in the first box, which was pretty disappointing. Uh, the foil rares were better on the second box, that's for sure. Um, 10 and 15 dollars respectively um, which the foil prices especially during pre-release week um, you know after you get your pre-order boxes now that you can do that the foil prices are out of this world because there just aren't foil cards flying around at all millstone novice knight mirror image vivian's invocation that isn't even listed anywhere. Um, I can't even find a listing online showing the price of that card. I'm assuming that's because nobody wants it. So I think that's pretty uh, safe. Safe guess. It allows you to look for seven mana. Allows you to look at the top seven cards of your library, put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield, then put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Um, when a creature is put into the battlefield this way, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent controls. And it's just a lot. Seven mana for that ability is just not worth it. Certainly not going to win a game for you. Uh, we have a Lightning Mare. 
blood divination, a sleep, a transmog wand. And the only way that Vivian's invocation could ever work is if you had something like a, you know, plain modern of a giant old drowsy you can pull. Uh, that's about the only way something like that's going to work. A giant derp. Preferably something with flying and trample. We have a Druid of Horns, Psychic Corrosion, Aerial Engineer, and a One with the Machine. Timber Gorge and a Thopter Token. Anybody sees this from Isle of Games, if you see something you need um, in way of commons and uncommons, let me know. I'll make sure that uh, if I have a playset of them, um, I'll make sure you get whatever I have above that. And uh, we can do a little trading, or, you know, if it's a common, I don't care. It's all yours. Blanchwood Armor, Plague Mare, a Johnny's Pride Mate. Vivian Reed, so we had a, my second Vivian, two Vivians I've hit, um, and a foil Manolith. I have not seen, I've hit two Boluses, I've hit two Vivian Reeds, I've hit three Sarkons, I have not seen a, uh, I think there's a Tezzeret, Tezzeret and a Johnny, I haven't seen either of them, so we'll see if we can change that. Got a little ways to go. Or a long ways to go. Plenty of time to do that. We have an uh, Ether Tunnel, a Heroic Reinforcements, a Fell Spectre, and an Infernal Reckoning. And I got another card worth a few bucks. Of course, I just, you know, I'll show the prices of the video on the videos, you know, I film, and I love doing the little, you know, popping the card up and showing the price and all that. It's fun. But you cannot take that as what it's going to be even even three weeks from now. Um, two, three weeks from now, they're going to be completely different pricing. And I saw people make a really bad mistake um, with uh, Blood Moon. Not Blood Moon. Um, the name of it. It's not Blood Moon. Actually, I think it is Blood Moon. No, 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 no. Blood Sun. Uh, we have a Tectonic Rift. Recollect. Volcanic Dragon, and Thorn Lieutenant. Uh, a lot of people were going out, buying up the uh, the Blood Suns for, I was seeing them selling for $60, $50-$60. Now you can get a Foil Blood Sun for 3 or $4. And I've got a pile of the regular Rare Blood Sun non-foil. And they're worth like a, less than a dollar, I think, now. No foil. Nightmare's Thirst, a Reassembling Skeleton, a Sleep, and a Palladium Moors the Ruiner. So, third Mythic. Put this in the last box as well. We have a Tectonic Rift. Bone to Ash. I haven't seen that card yet. That's actually the first one of those I've seen. All th three boxes. Um, it's two and two islands. Uh, two and two blue. Counter target creature spell and draw a card. That's pretty good. We have a Poison Tip Archer and a Hungering Hydra. I thought that card would be more relevant. Um, but I suppose that not having Trample is what kills it. Swamp and an ox. I mean, <clears throat> it's great to have a 14-14 murder, you know, murder machine, but if it doesn't have trample or flying or, you know, even death touch, but more like trample and flying or one of the two, it loses a lot of its uh, ability, a lot of its power because you can just block it with one ones all day long. Oh no, you're attacking with your 14-14. Well, I'll block it with my 1-1. One, one. That's it. Uh, make a stand. Lightning strike. Switcheroo. 
and a Frang Omnipotence. It looks like that's kind of a Bolas losing his uh, all-powerful. The great mending that healed the multiverse also unraveled the threads of Bolas's power. Each player loses half their life, then discards half their cards in their hand, then sacrifices half the creatures they control. Round up each time. Man, that's some, that's some effect right there. <clears throat> Bolas and a cat token. Give me one second, folks. I'm going to go grab something to drink. I need a glass of water. I'm getting ready to start choking here. Alright, I'm back. Thank you. Thank gosh for video editing. You guys don't have to waste all that time. Now that I've actually figured out how to edit videos and I'm enjoying it. Um, Alright. I mean, I'm an IT guy by trade, but um, I've never done video editing. Never messed around with that. So, it's a learning experience. It is unfortunately very time consuming. We have a uh, Fountain of Renewal, Heroic Reinforcements, Gargoyle Sentinel, and Alpine Moon. And, you know, it's part of life, and you got to learn to deal with it as a grown adult, but it's frustrating to put, you know, a ton of work into, especially here on YouTube, it's frustrating to put a lot of work into a channel, money and work, and, you know, the, the subs just don't come. I mean, it's tough. It is frustrating, but it is a flooded market, so to speak. There's a lot of guys doing the same thing. So. We have an Arcane Encyclopedia, Rupture Spire, Gargoyle Sentinel, The Morseful Cleric. I do definitely appreciate all of my... Uh, all my subscribers, the guys that come around, and Jay Shing, and all you guys that come around and say hi and hop on my live streams and all that, I appreciate it. Small gathering so far, but hopefully I can get that up. Get the number up here sooner or later. I was hoping M19 would, would be the catalyst. We'll see. We have a Stitcher's Supplier, a Gift of Paradise, a Murder, and a Wind Reader Sphinx. It's a pretty terrible card, actually. But, I mean, it has a good anthem effect, I suppose. But, the card itself, I mean, 7 mana for a 3 7 flyer. But, being able to have any, every time a flyer attacks, draw a card is pretty useful. Uh, Aegis of the Heavens, Seder Enchanter, a Sift, and a Leonin Lore Leader. Nice. Should just about have a playset of that. Uh, Planes and a Thopter. I think I got a playset of that now. That should be. If not, I need one more. Resurrecting my cat deck. Let's see if it's going to work. All right, we have a foil here. We have a gear pure guide, double cast, Hyromancer's cage, and a gin of wishes. And our foil, yep, is frilled sea serpent. I've hit that in foil in a previous video. Hmm. Avatar and Storm Quarry. Always frustrates me hitting duplicate foils. You know, it'd be great if it was a card that I was using for a deck, of course, but on. Uh, in duplicate foils, it's kind of bogus. It's a lot of cards in this set. I mean, this is a 280-card set. I shouldn't be hitting the same foil over and over.
We have a foil here. Rise from the grave. Ridiculous Tower. Ridiculous Tower. A Militia Burger. Bugler. And a Magistrate Scepter. And the foil is Mystic Archaeologist. Oh, yuck. That's a foil rare. Are you kidding me? Wow. And a Mountain and a Night Token. That's a disappointing foil rare. Yuck. Ugh, that's painful. I have another foil. I have a Leonin Vanguard. Nice. I got my place of the Diagraph Ghouls now for my zombie deck. Aerial Engineer and a Runic Armasaur. And our foil is Gargoyle Sentinel. Only good part is I've noticed uh, the past few sets, especially Dominaria, um, I've gotten two foil rares in most boxes. It seems to be almost an average of two. We have a novice knight, a murder, exclusion mage, and a patient rebuilding. Finally, another thopter. Patient rebuilding is interesting. It's three and two blue. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent puts the top three cards of the library into their graveyard. Then you draw a card for each land card put in the graveyard this way. So it could be good, or it could do absolutely nothing for you. Alright, we have a foil here as well. Uh, Diamond Mare, an Exclusion Mage, Brawl Bash Ogre, and a Sigil Sword of Valoran. I hit one of those in the last box. And a Grave Digger foil. Nice. A good some Grave Digger action. Nice. He's been around a long time in a lot of sets. Pulled him in the 6th edition opening. He's been around for a long, long time. We have a Vine Mare, Fiery Finish, Brawl Bash Ogre. And a Graveyard Marshal, nice. And I got two of them. I need two more. Finish my deck. I've got everything from the other sets. You know, I'm just trying to get the cards I need for that deck. Cards from M19. So I don't think Graveyard Marshal was in a previous set. I think he's new. If I'm not right, if I'm not wrong. If he, if it is a reprint, then it's from an older set. I definitely don't have a bunch of them. We have a Vine Mare, Lightning Mare, Pyromancer's Cage, and a Banefire. So we're sitting on three Mythics. See if we can get past that hump. In that last box, I got um, all my Mythics at the end. Literally all my Mythics at the very end. Wouldn't mind another Bolas either. Play set of Bolas would be really nice. Stitcher Supplier, Herald of Faith, Seder Enchanter, and a Spit Flame. Spit and Hot Lava Fire. Alright. Saken Sanctuary and an Elf Warrior token. Sorry, I'm huffing and puffing a little bit. My shoulders, I tore something. And my left shoulder behind my shoulder blade. It hurts all the way to my shoulder, all the way down to my elbow. It, it, it hurts a lot. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Uh, but take Tylenol and use heat pack and stuff like that. Not something that can be really fixed. Just through uh, time and toughing it out. We have a foil. 
Ether Tunnel, Nightly Valor, Volcanic Dragon, and then Omni Science. So, fourth mythic. And we do have a foil Centaur Corsair. That's the second foil Centaur Corsair I've gotten. Again, duplication in the foil area, which you should not have foil duplication. There's too many dang cards to have foil duplication. Very annoying. This, of course, was something I needed for a deck, like I said. Then I wouldn't be too upset about it. Um, we have a Thud, a Vigilant Baylaw, Grave Digger, and a Death Baron. Very nice. Hitting all the cards I need for my deck. Very nice. Tranquil Expanse and a Bat. Oh, they wanted the uh, Binder, the M19 Binder, but it's not available till release day, I guess. I can buy booster boxes, but I can't buy a binder. I just don't want to have to sleeve them all into a different binder. And then have to move them back. We have a shield mare. Ravenous harpy. Sly Skyrider patrol. And a desecrated tomb. So I'll most likely put these in a box. All the rares in a box. Probably sleeve up the boluses and anything worth of any significant value, all the mythics, and uh, just let them chill until they are selling that. I might be able to find somebody that could sell me that a little early though, but I doubt it. Most of them, most, uh, pretty much everybody here in town is very good about the rules. Arcane Encyclopedia, Rupture Spire, Departed Deckhand, and Demonic Catastrophes. Nice. I got another. I think I have a place out of him now, which I was hoping for. Kind of lost one. I I know it's somewhere around here, but I had, you know, you got one of those in each of the Liliana um, Planeswalker decks, and I can only find one of them. I don't know what I did with it. I'm thinking maybe I double stacked it in a. And a binder page, so it's behind something else. But I'm sure I'll hit one of those before the week's over. One more. He's going to be a beast in mono black. I can't wait to try him. I'd like to build that um, build that deck online with him, but uh, I don't think any you can buy M19 cards yet. We have an Infernal Hellion. Psychic Symbiont, Symbiont, a Siege Breaker Giant, and a Progenist Growth. Lands and a Night Token. I don't think Progenist Growth is really worth its mana cost. I just don't. I don't think it's that great. Imagine you spend all that to enchant something, give it 7-7. Seven, seven. And they brass is contented off the board. That's a big waste. That's a lot of mana just to give something plus. And it's not even an instant. If it was an instant, maybe. Or if I had to flash. No foil here. We have a Nightmare's Thirst, a Volley Veteran, Siege Breaker Giant again, and a Mist Caller. As far as duplication in the rare slot, seen very little of it, if any of it at all, um, which is good, which is the way it should be. I've hit too dang many of the same foils. We have a uh, Reclamation Sage. Oh, come on, it's piles, good sliding. Suspicious Bookcase, a Surge Mare, and a Sarkon. So that's four Sarkons I've gotten. That's a place at a Sarkon. And I've got uh, five Mythics so far in this box. I wouldn't mind the, uh, the different... I wouldn't mind hitting in a Johnny or a... Uh, what do you call them? Tezzeret. I wouldn't mind hitting one of them. All right. 
don't want to have to buy a play set of either of them. I'd rather pull it in what I've got here, but if I have to, I will. I'll just trade for them. We have a foil. And then a Johnny's Welcome. Meteor Golem. Skyrider Patrol. And a Gigantosaurus. He'll be fun in mono green. I'm going to have a lot of fun with him in mono green. Alright, that's one place this could work. This with Progenous Growth. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. 1717 Trampler. Um, Gigantosaurus and a Foil Island. That's the same full island I got last time. I wonder if there's only one art for lands. Uh, Bolas token and a uh, Vivian emblem. Man, my shoulder hurts. Sheesh. Oh yeah, guys, the older you get, guys and gals, the older you get, the more pains you get. Gaspark yeah, Twins, Draconic Disciple, Plague Mare, Amulet of Safekeeping. Get one of this last box. Smurge Boneyard, Dragon Token. Alright. Three packs left in this box. We've done alright. We've done alright. Wouldn't mind one more mythic. But that's being greedy since seeing we have uh, five mythics already. No foil. We have a uh, Reclamation Sage again. Aegis of the Heavens again. A Fell Spectre. And a Sarkon's Unsealing. Island and a Cat Token. Yeah, so far literally no duplication. I haven't gotten two of the same rare in this box. I don't think I got them two of the same rare in any other boxes either. Could be wrong, but... An Aether Shield Artificer. A skilled Animator. A Meteor Golem. And a Lathis Dragon Queen. Cinder Barons and a Thopter token. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? One more foil rare. One more foil, period. Maybe a uh, Bolus. Let's take a look. No foil. We have a Shield Mare, a Diagraph Ghoul, a Psychic Symbiont, and an Isareth the Awakener. Alright, so that's it for this box. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. And I hope everybody enjoyed this opening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, remember, I have a Patreon now. Um, I got a great collection, so there's a lot of great cards for, uh, for you to profit from on, on my grab bags and I've got the lucky hand as uh, most people see so I can uh, get you some awesome pulls most likely if you uh, do the bundle or the booster box so hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day and uh, we'll see you on the next box talk to you later